Welcome or welcome back with my friend Stefan. Today, um, kind of a, a double episode to be honest. Uh, we heard, uh, we had some comments uh, a while back that we should listen to Tala from uh, Sarah G Geronimo. Uh, Geronimo. 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 And she's like um, famous, I think. And <laughs> Most recommended, <laughs> probably famous. <laughs> Yeah. Um, but we also know Katrina Falarde and that's why oh. we saw she did Tala and oh. now that's a good combination to do both. So Katrina. first we're gonna uh, listen or watch uh, Sarah, the OG, the originator and then we'll do the Whispers version of Katrina. Sounds yes? Like plan. Yeah. Yeah, let's go. Let's go! <laughs> Oh. Okay. And hippie vibes. <laughs> <laughs> With the rope and the boots. And tattoo? And what? Like no, this, yeah, the legging. Legging tattoo? Oh, oh so it's a full suit. Tribal? Oh, and we have subtitles on. So. And we know Tala means star. Quick second before I forget to say, um, I know this song already because uh, I listen to OPM sometimes on uh, Spotify and I heard this song before, so I know there is a catchy beat coming up. So All right. Just so you know. It's the beat, right? Yep. A bit Spanish, yeah. I can totally understand why people Not the dancing. Yeah, yeah, that's what I said. Yeah. Really reminds me of uh, Shakira. Yeah. 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 Wherever, whenever. Indian vibes with the things on the books. I think that's what we we're going for with the whole world wrestling thing. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And the stars. Yeah. And it's the evening shots. <laughs> Dramatic effect. It is, it is so good, you know. Yep. We'll check in a sec how old it is. I think it's a, like an older kid. This would work here for sure as well. <laughs> Dancing uh, Breakdown. Wow, even more Shakira. <laughs> even the curls. <laughs> Is it a preview? Inspiration. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's a Shakira move. Wow. It's a violent one. Right? Yeah. What you <laughs> Tell me. <laughs> Definitely a Shakira move. Right? Yeah. 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 And we back. Oh, wow. Oh, oh. 
Yeah, the, the text is kind of deep for a poppy song. Do this. All right. A bunch of different patterns in your outfit. All right, cool. It is. It was. Uh, let's <laughs> give it a quick. <laughs> let's give it one sec. Uh, the, yeah, that's what I saw as well. Like uh, 154 million uh, views. Oh, wow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's I impressive. don't see uh, where it's from because people are still commenting on it. So I don't see the uh, original, but I think it's was like an older one okay okay before i go way deep into the comment section and stuff let's start with a reaction nice <laughs> it was nice and i already knew it kind of so i wasn't cheating but i heard this you song heard before, song before. Right. and i couldn't place it from who it was or what the song was but th there was a catchy beat in there and i think i even said it to you or i i, uh, I know you it. like spanish uh, yes. kind of yes. songs the flavors and I also know why you kind of like this song because the Caribbean beat, especially in the chorus. Very catchy. Yeah. Very catchy. Yeah. Uh, the Dutch also love to use that kind of beat exactly, uh, exactly, in the yeah. hip hop songs and stuff. Yeah. So that's catchy. So it's definitely a good pop, pop song. I really see that if it was released in somewhat the maybe Dutch uh, uh, um, translation really? lyrics. Maybe. Yeah. I see that working. Yeah. Maybe. Yeah, yeah, definitely. The beat is so it's catchy. It's out it's there. Definitely catchy. The breakdown was, let's say, interesting. It was. Uh, it works, I think, for a poppy song. But yeah, it really reminded me of uh, Shakira's "Whenever, Wherever." Uh, yeah, I, 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 I don't know if there's inspiration taken from that song. Probably there is, Probably. but uh, maybe there's more yeah, more to it. Uh, she looked like a typical pop idol. Um, Facts. The makeup done, the outfits on point. I mean, uh, they fit the style of the video clip. Uh, it felt a bit, um, yeah, 90s, 2000s ish. The the scenery. And I think um, that's what you mean, but also because you know, Shakira was that yeah. song was in there. That era. Yeah, yeah. that era. Yeah, all in all, a uh, decent song. Yeah. And uh, I understand why so many people watch this. A lot of people watch this yeah, for an MV. That's million. that's crazy for an MV. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And it's their first song is sing. Uh, so I'll try it again. <laughs> <laughs> it's the first song I heard of her. Uh, so um, Katrina kind of uh, pushed that that, that way, but we also now know why. I really want to know Katrina's version. Version of it. Yeah, yeah. Is she gonna do a, a, the um, the same poppy quick or Probably slower? Not. Probably a ballad Slay, version. Yeah. We'll see. That's a theme. <laughs> That's <laughs> the theme we're here for. Okay, well let's just uh, uh, hear it and see it, and uh, let's not guess about it. So let's go. So we back. Katrina is already almost there. <laughs> so press First the button the bus before Katrina yeah. arrives. Uh, and uh, let's just give it a go. Let's go. I'm excited. So is this kind of the her first solo we listen to, right? Yeah. One sweet day is on the moon. Okay. Ooh. Yeah. 
which her voice way slower interesting Doing it for the first time was looking at her. Getting into it. Yeah, yeah. Goes up. Yeah, the beat needs to go up now. Later. I don't know. I don't think she knows the lyrics by heart. <laughs> holding her phone. But then again, if you do it like that, you don't know it. <laughs> <laughs> Nice. <laughs> nice. With the little. Mm, got him. Got him. Hi, 
wishers, this is Katrina Velarde. Hi, Katrina. For more wish exclusive videos, click here. Just click here. Click here. Hey, hey the whole crew. Click here. Click here. So, uh, quick recap. We only uh, heard her one time on the one sweet day, and then she was like. Uh, Dancy was already really impressive. Yeah, well, she's competing yeah. with uh, Budokel and in a good way that I mean, everybody was like pushing each other to be the best that day. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, it was a really good uh, uh, version of that. It's good synergy, yes. Yeah. So this is the first time her, hearing her by herself. Mm -hmm. And she picked a song that's kind of like what we heard, like a beat. And then she went slower. Yeah. But then wow. in the song, there were some... Um, yeah, small parts where she went up again, as in she tried to like not mimic it, but you know have a, her own little beat that also upbeat. So it was kind of I'm not sure. I think uh, I like the the original better, but this her voice is just for me, know, it's miles. A for miles me, it's better. a complete opposite. I like this version way better. Mm, I like the slower yeah. version way better. Mm. Uh, I understand that the poppy might stick better to people, yeah. but if you listen to it like for more times than just once i think this one will for me personally it would be better because i like the little chill trap i would, mm -hmm. I would say chill trap i don't know if it's it was too soft for me yeah but that's why I, I, I don't know with a voice like that i i like it <laughs> she yeah. has a great voice and it suits the 100 percent the, the mellow down version and uh, the poppy version is too poppy for me um just too much. I, I know it. It just stays in your head. The ta la ta la. And the <laughs> yeah. Doof, 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 doof. yeah, exactly. So that's that's the the winning formula probably for the masses. But for me, the second version is better. Yeah, kind of the hipster angle. <laughs> <laughs> that no, was definitely <laughs> not my point. <laughs> no, but I I know what you mean. And the thing is, uh, with this, we only heard it once. Both of them. Uh, me, mm -hmm. of course, I heard yeah. one more in Spotify. Yeah. So just comparing those quick. For me, uh, I lean more to the first and you lean more to the second. Yes. But the second isn't really, you don't have to, you, we are comparing them, but they're kind of different because one mm -hmm. is upbeat and one is slow. Yeah. So that's just two whole different versions of it. And But her voice though, even the now and, and the, the one before, the one today is so good. Yeah, it makes you wonder if, if there's anyone in the Philippines who cannot sing because yeah, my mom, I think I think that <laughs> you my yeah. family. I went to karaoke and I said it isn't like this. Not everybody. <laughs> we can, this, this is not this. Yeah. Uh, but um, yeah, what's a fun uh, rendition? Um, her, her, her. Yeah, I have nothing more. So we Does she have like, her own songs, Katrina? Uh, I'm not sure to be honest. I uh, I was watching and was looking for a song of her, and there was a whole lot of covers, and there were a whole lot of slower song covers mm. and we're not always trying to do ballads and stuff yeah. uh, but i couldn't find her original yet uh, so let me know if she really uh, if she has so we can take a look at it i know she has a couple of duets with people we know like with Dar daryl ong and that kind of stuff oh nice so that might be a, a thing for the future as well All right. but uh, yeah she's such a great singer and she displayed it uh, really well in this song as well so that's pretty much from us uh see you next time hopefully Okay. Yes. Deuces. Ciao.